Lali, the red scooty, still stands there, beneath the old neem tree, under the shade of its trembling leaves, all alone, waiting. A century ago, under this very neem, sat an old Hakim. As the hospital, taller than the neem, started to take root, the Hakim's visits became less frequent. Then, one day, he disappeared for good. No one noticed it. No one missed him. Well, a few days ago, Dr. Didi had come, riding on Lali. She was wearing a white coat over her red kurti. There were so many patients that day that there wasn't any space in the parking lot. So she left Lali here, under the old neem. She must have thought she would come back in the afternoon and park it properly. She told me she would buy some bhindi and alu on her way home in the evening. But she hasn't returned yet. Weeks later, Lali still stands there, its color fading, but no one asks about it. The tea seller who used to ask, Dr. Betty, late again today, doesn't come here anymore. Yes, sometimes the Chokidar flashes his torch around. For a moment in Lali's mirror, gleams Dr. Didi's smile, as if she is laughing at the Chokidar. No one asks the old Neem, standing in the dark shadow of the gleaming white hospital. No one sees the falling leaves in Lali's mirrors. It feels like the old Neem trunk could fall at any moment. It needs surgery too. But who will heal the healer? The sickness that began here has spread from the Neem's roots throughout the city. It's reached every park, every garden, every crack in the footpath where plants and trees struggle to survive. Now leaves are falling all over the city. The aerial roots of the banyan are drying up before they can even touch the ground. The fiery flowers of the gulmohar are turning to ash and falling. And the people, once revered, now stands naked like a guilty criminal. Slowly the streets are being covered with leaves. The air is thickening. The city is suffocating, cooking slowly on a low flame. The leaves have clogged the drains, and whenever it rains, the streets fill up with dirty water. Children no longer play in the parks. Their laughter has been swallowed by the eerie silence of thorny branches. Birds no longer descend here. Somewhere in a lab, someone is hunched over a microscope searching for truth but the truth scrawled on every wall of the city has been hidden by the crowds on the streets there is something weighing 150 grams but the weight pressing down on lali's tires who can measure that the neem's falling leaves are covering lali's red paint like a shroud no one sees lali's ghost no one hears the whisper of the old neem history will repeat itself again Something will weigh 150 grams again. An illusion, a deception, some dust.